What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we don't have one, but we got two Micro Center 27 inch cabinets going out today actually. I gotta, I don't have a watch, but I gotta make, I gotta go. <laughs> So I'm gonna speed kind of through this. There's actually another cabinet I'm gonna be talking about in this video that you can see in the thumbnail. Um, really this week, pretty cool week. I had three cabinets. If you saw my other video, you kind of got a sneak peek. Um, the third cabinet was actually JBP's arcade cabinet, the bar top, I'll just flash a picture here. Um, basically he messaged me, he goes, hey Vic, Pac-Man, it's just not doing it with these eight ways. I don't like it, what could we do? I basically quickly installed a four-way joystick on his bar top. So you can take a look at that picture real quick, again, Four-way joysticks, it is a must for Pac-Man. So this week was basically three builds. Jay's was like, you know, maybe a two-day thing, but I banged it out. Um, wife went to Jersey, he's in Jersey, so she took it with her and he picked it up. So one bar top with another four-way joystick installed. But on this one today, we're gonna really have the double, not one, but two, 27-inch Micro Center Atari whole like package deal RK cabs. And uh, I believe, honestly, these might be the last ones I'm ever gonna do of the 27 inch Micro Center arcade cabinet. There's a couple reasons why I say that, but then I, I might, you're gonna probably see in the future me making another one. Um, so again, I'm in New York. There's four Micro Centers in New York and New Jersey. Uh, and like I said in my last video, if you were looking at getting the Atari package that they make, the bundle, I definitely scooped up the last ones. Uh, went to Brooklyn for one, and I went to Flushing. <laughs> Drew a blank. Um, both were different packages. Maybe I have it here. No, I have the bottoms. I actually used the bottom of the boxes to put them in the truck. I put these on my truck sideways so it doesn't mess up the paint, or I should say the vinyl. And uh, it works good. Um, one of these had the retro yellow like a yellow sticker um, that just says like, you know, 33, three quarter inch, uh, 27 inch arcade cabinet. And then another one had like a newer sticker. It was red and black. Um, definitely I do notice, I don't wanna say quality, but the red and black, I guess was gen two, much cleaner cut, better cut than the gen one. I keep pointing because I know for a fact that one's the gen one. Now for my last, last, last video, I scored these for about $5.99. These were like uh, $6.50 now. They went up 50 bucks. Um, but luckily with Micro Center, I had an over seat and they honored it. So I didn't lose out on basically a hundred bucks. Um, but these are the last bundles that you could get, at, as far as I know, in New York to date. Um, you could get the three quarter inch RK cabinet and you could get all the pieces separate but in all honesty, I'm gonna have to bump up the price on this for future builds, and I would definitely do custom artwork. I wouldn't be looking at this Atari artwork any longer. We'll go through real quick. Basics, obviously, again, this is running a Raspberry Pi. They both are because the bundle comes with the Raspberry Pi, but I put my SD card image, 128 gig SD cards, 15,000 games on each, and I do have the dual wireless PlayStation controllers on each, so there's two controllers for that and two controllers for this one. This one here is going out to Joe from OfferUp. He messaged me, again, I have these ads and all that, so he hit me up, he goes, Vic, I want this one. I said, great, give me about two weeks to you know, purchase everything because I need two weeks. I got the cabinet, but honestly, I'm, I, Micro Center and they're like black and white buttons, I have a, a ton of them. Uh, customers don't like them, so. The photo I have on my ad is red, white, and blue Street Fighter style colors. And obviously everybody likes that because it is retro. And it takes about a week just to get the buttons and the joysticks. Let me get out of selfie mode because my arm is tired. Let's take a closer look. So this one is Joe's. This one's going out to the person on OfferUp. This one, and this is where like, I'm gonna make this video to any like customer that's gonna be a pain in the ass. I always take deposits, no matter what. I don't care how the price of the cabinet, I will always take a deposit. I don't wanna hear some other guy doesn't need a deposit. That's all bullshit because this right here is supposed to go to another customer on OfferUp. And like I said in my last video, it's kind of crazy. These two customers messaged me on OfferUp like an hour apart, right? This guy, I don't even know his name, whatever, I don't even care. I ordered the cabinet without a deposit 
And then sure enough, like I built it, I sent them pictures of it. And then he goes, you know what, Vic, I'm sorry, man, I'm building a house and pandemic hit and uh, I no longer want the cabinet. So go fuck yourself. I always need deposits. Luckily, I do have somebody now coming up to pick this one up off of um, actually Facebook Marketplace. I just want to make that clear. I always take deposits. Luckily, this wasn't like a custom artwork job because I take a 75% deposit for custom artwork jobs. Imagine if I didn't take a deposit and it was a custom artwork with the guy's name on it. I would have been so asked out. So to any other people that ask, I always take deposits. I don't care about Joe Schmo. You got to pay me your deposit because there are people in the world, unfortunately, like that, that will message me and say, hey, I want this. I'm going to come pick it up right now. And then they ghost or they literally tell me, hey, I no longer want it because financial reasons. I get that. But then he was also a type that kept messaging me on all my arcade cabinets. I also had a Fast and the Furious arcade cabinet he wanted. He was going to build a basement arcade. He also messaged my bar top. Like, you got to think I spent like four days going back and forth on messages. And then it was a total waste of my time. But I can't totally say that. Luckily, I do have a customer picking this one up. And again, as of right now, this will be probably my last... 27 inch model these i sold on offer up uh, facebook and everything let go um for uh 1200 these go for 1200 now though with the price hike meaning there's no more bundle parts alone are going to cost at least i would say 1400 if you get like the buttons and everything um so this right here these are going to sell now for 1700 now unfortunately it said like with micro center i have there's like another baggie over there I have all of these buttons and I actually went to micro center to try to return these. I kind of said like I, my wife bought me an arcade cabinet. I didn't need these buttons. They asked for like receipts. They asked for like everything. And unfortunately I can't swap these out. I sold one bundle off on uh, Facebook, like a, a, an arcade group and it wasn't worth me selling it. I'd rather just keep it for spare buttons and parts, but Unfortunately, you cannot swap the colors on these joysticks too. I got like eight of these joysticks now. Um, but again, I do have a guy on eBay. These are competition Zuzu Hap buttons and the joysticks. Um, I love these. These are great. The cherry switches on this is amazing. Again, the first cabinet I built, I took a picture of it. People loved it. And then I basically made, this is probably number six and seven that I've made of these. Um, Cherry switches definitely are an amazing feeling. These, again, uh, the guy on eBay, he has uh, 14 buttons. So it's six and six, player one and player two. The rest, I mean, I could order more buttons, but I don't think it's really worth it. I just exited by accident. Um, it's not really worth me ordering each individual button, but definitely great quality. I do love the joysticks on this. They feel great. Definitely love everything about it. Uh, so again, Micro Center cabinet. This one, again, is the Gen 2. Super clean. All the T-molding cuts were great. I had no issues with this. This one is Gen 1. And it's just uh, like, you know, another T-molding cut is not centered. Um, even up top, you can see here. I mean, the Gen, the Gen 1s were, were good, but like this here, it's honestly right here. This is just brutal here. Like this rides, as you can see, like even, even that, that too, actually, let me lift this up. The, the plexi wasn't cut straight. So you could see like, it is honestly like, oh, here we go. Right there. Look, can you see the plexi? It overhangs and no, it's not like. It's not centered. I, I know how to build a cabinet. It's just this one. Besides those two little things, that was the only honest headache. Uh, rear door panel. Um, you kind of see the scuffings here. I have to actually lift up the door and then open it. Because if I don't, it'll just rub out. Uh, just I, Again, I don't know what happened, but I blame it on a Gen 1 cabinet. This had the yellow retro, that yellow, blue, ugly retro arcade sticker on it on the box so might want to avoid those this one was the black and red one so this one i'm giving to the customer that named joe he's the one that ordered it uh you know gave me a deposit and everything so this one will definitely go out to him because it is a little bit of a better quality no hiccup one but take a look at this again we do have zuzu hab can i hit a one hand i do can i didn't press the button 
There we go. Cool. Awesome. Like I said, I do love these like cherry switches. It's a guy on eBay. Uh, it's like 50 bucks for the button kit. But again, you only get 14 buttons compared to the 20 button layout that you need. So that's where I use micro center buttons. Uh, again, I got shift, load, save, exit. So L, load, L. So load, I have it loading to the intro and then exit on that. A track mode on this. 40 seconds on it this is running the super nintendo wheel because i was in super nintendo it's just great that's why i love a track mode it just looks great it looks almost like hyper spin but also you could leave your arcade cabinet on and it looks good uh micro center obviously giving you the speakers everything you really need i don't use their sd card they don't give you led strip that i add on and pretty nice big thing though honestly with my um pi images I always go into the mixer setting and I bump up the decibels um, to make it louder. So there you go, 27 inch Acer monitor on this. The rear always, as always, we got clean work. Everything kind of zip tied down, stapled down, speakers and all. On the bottom, I always make my little hole for the power strip. I don't put the power strip here. They definitely want you to put it there. I don't do that. I got my PlayStation controllers here and just clean wiring all around. Again, 27 inch model. Again, what I'm saying about me not buying any more of these is because now the price is gonna go up. And honestly, for the price, I sell um, Pandora box 32 inch cabinets with custom artwork. I sell them for 1900. So paying this for 1700, you might as well get a 32 inch with total custom artwork in reality, in all honesty. And uh, that's honestly why I say that. Um, as far as also another complaint with the Gen 1, the like, I, I don't know what it is, but always like the vinyl, you can see like the little bubbling here. Whereas Gen 2, like this was flawless. I did, I did amazing on this vinyl work. Vinyl is always a pain in the ass, but I did it like great on this. Centered, again, no double um, plexi, no trans light, so. You know, I'm gonna have to order another piece of Plexi if I was gonna do a custom artwork job. But all in all, not too bad. You are seeing double Micro Center 27 inch cabinets. I'm gonna have to clean up the shop now because I'm just happy these two are going. I have another two orders coming in. Uh, we got an anniversary gift of a 27 inch Gaming Solutions cabinet, just like um, the Jersey one I did for Magic Moments. I do have a 32 inch cabinet going out to a company that's for like a retail space. And then I'm dying to work on my Mega Touch. That's my personal one. That's just on the side burner until now. And then I do have a couple of big announcements coming up because I am working on another pinball build. I got to clean up the shop. I got to see what I can do with these buttons. Maybe Micro Center, I could get somebody to swap them out for me um, or I could get some money back on them. But other than that, seeing double 27 inch Micro Center arcade cabinets, Vic VP, Game Case Arcades.